What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. Your boy JP's Audio 08. Uh, don't mind my headliner back there drooping. This the A to B car. I need to fix it, but don't mind that. Either way, I'm coming to y'all because, you know, I was looking at the pictures in that last video about my Grand Marquis, about, you know what I'm saying, everything that they done. And when I looked at the picture, of course, I was excited to see the wall, but I noticed something. My seat belts are dirty. Oh, they dirty. Same seat belt since 1997. Now, I'm not necessarily blaming it on the fact that the seat belts are old because they still work. But with me uh, doing so much craft work inside the car, building two walls, fiberglass, getting all over the place from trying to glass stuff, the things are just really, really dirty. And I can't have a very clean car on the outside and not be clean on the inside. So. You know, I've had I've had dirty carpet, so I replaced the carpet. I had dirty seats, so I replaced the seats. So the interior can't be beautiful. And then I had these super dirty seat belts. I was, I was researching like color changing seat belts because I was like, shoot, if you could dye it, I'll just dye them. And then I was like, shoot, if I can replace it myself, I'll just replace it myself. I can totally do that. So I watched a YouTube video on replacing them seat belts. I am not trying to do that. But what I did find, I did find some uh, companies that you can send them your seat belt and get a different color. And the reason a different color popped in my brain because at Wake the Dead, I ran into my boy Dre, and he has a Dodge Magnum sitting on 30s, and the color scheme that he has is literally throughout the whole entire car. Very nice interior on the inside, but the, most, the thing that stood out to me the most was his seat belts. His seat belts was the exact same color as the trim and the outside of the car. And I was just like, that right there is attention to detail. Now, with me being into cars ever since I was 15, going to shows ever since I was able to drive, I have never seen somebody's seat belts a different color. Maybe I just haven't noticed it, but when I looked at my seat belts and seen that they was extremely dirty, I said, oh, okay, I, I need to get them. So I found a couple of websites online. I think I found one called Safety Restore or something like that. Now I emailed them about two weeks ago and they said, they claimed that they have like a 24 hour turnaround on once they receive the seat belts and all that type of stuff. And I ordered some samples to make sure I was gonna get the right color green. Now it took about two weeks to get these samples and the mailing package it says two day shipping so i don't know what happened there i might not go with the company but i might i'm gonna have to see what happened with that but these are the greens that they sent me they sent me i think they just sent me all the greens that they have or these three colors now this one is the closest uh, i think this is the kelly green that they have and it literally matches the trim that's on my seats now my paint is a Kelly green, but it has a little bit of a darker undertone. So am I being too picky by not going with this color? Or since it actually matches my interior, I should be good with this one because I ain't gonna lie, I like this green. It's, 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 it's kind of leaning more towards the Kelly green than the Emerald green, but I like green in general. So I think about going with this color, but I don't know about going with that company. So if you guys have any suggestions about where I can go to get this done, please let me know because what I'm thinking about having my boys at Jakar do is actually send me my seat belts. And as far as the hard plastic part, I might uh, color them. I also watch a video on vinyl dyeing. So I might color them and dye them the exact same factory color, but then having that green seatbelt on there is gonna make that tan and green pop on the inside of my interior. So will I be too picky by trying to go a shade darker with this? Am I gonna waste time by going a shade darker? Because the only other greens that I've seen on other websites have been like an olive, a military green, or a forest green. And I'm afraid that the forest green is gonna be too dark and throw everything off. Also, if you're a person who's actually done this before, what's a website that you use? I could just call my boy Dreep, but I know Dreep got an interior, man. 
and I don't know, I might call him and see what he used. But either way, if y'all got suggestions, let me know. I'm just on my way to work, and this was something that I was excited about because it's dealing with the Grand Marquis. So it's a small update on what I want to do next, and let's figure it out together. Till next time, music boy JP sign out. Keep going, keep growing. Y'all have a blessed day, baby. I'm here to work. Peace.